and I'm a cheater. Today on Sheet, John Travolta did it, so did David Caruso. But have you got what it takes to return from oblivion and triumph? We'll show you how. And we'll give you our exclusive hints for Tomb Raider legends, guitar hero, and hitman blood money, only on Sheet. <laughs> The show that breaks video game rules like your daddy breaks promises. I'm Kristen Holt, and if you're like me, you know that instant gratification takes too damn long. Yeah, those unlockable levels on your favorite games are rewards, but who says you have to earn them? I'm here to help you cut to the chase and get the most out of your game time. Today, we'll show you where to find everything from Fight Night's rumbling royalty to Guitar Hero's invisible acts. But first, come with me down the royal road to the insanely popular RPG, Oblivion. Home to such celebrities as John Larroquette, Lonnie Anderson, and the Van Pattens, Oblivion is also one of the best reasons to have an Xbox Live account. It spawned a handful of awesome expansion packs. The Wizard's Tower was one of the first Oblivion expansions to hit the ether. It seems you've inherited Frostcrag Spire nestled high in the Gerald Mountains. In addition to a gourmet kitchen, all-new plumbing, and formal dining room, the Spire comes with an alchemy lab, which immediately grants you a plus 15 alchemy bonus. Mages will flip for the fully stocked herb garden, but even regular folk will be able to enchant weapons and make custom spells. Feeling lonely? Summon up an Atronach familiar to obey your every command. The downside is, you have to kill some other elementals and reassemble their body parts just to make one familiar. And frankly, your horse is more useful in a fight. But you do what you think is best. If you were like me and you wanted to be a goonie when you were growing up, the Thieves' Den is more your speed. Centuries ago, Captain Dugal and the crew of the pirate ship, the Black Flag, were stuck in a cavern under the Anvil Castle. Now it's your turn to become captain. Go to Dumbarrow Cove and clear out the skeletons of those six pirates and the cursed captain. Once the cove is yours, speak to Dolly Arrakum of the Clarabella to hire a crew. You can hire a supplier, fence, Fletcher, spy master, security expert, and upgrade your quarters. Once your infamous crew is together, other pirates will start joining in in the hopes of becoming rich. Talk to any of the pirates in the cove and ask them to head out and plunder. Of course and they'll return seven days later with 2,000 gold pieces left in the chest in your quarters. You'll have access to trainers in mercantile, speechcraft, sneak, security, and marksmanship. And your fence, Kafiz, offers you up to 1,500 gold pieces per item. Those of you working on your security can go to the training chest, which is set to hard, and work on improving your lock picking. Remember to have fun and do what you want in your code, because down here, it's our time. It's our time down here. If you're hanging out with pirates, break the ice with a joke or two. Like the one about the pirate who walked into a bar with a steering wheel on the front of his pants. The bartender asks, doesn't that bother you? And the pirate says, "Ah, it drives me nuts. Or maybe you'd rather hear about the free one-ups in New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. With the first 2D Mario game finally available on the DS, you're carrying a ton of secrets and items in your pocket. The famous infinite one-up cheat from the original Super Mario Brothers is back. Find a world with steps and a Koopa Troopa walking down them and open a can of whoop-ass. Smash that little Koopa's noggin while he's on the steps. Keep bouncing on the left side of his shell and what's that sound? It's victory, my friend. You've got the lives. Now it's time to start living. Check out the timer at the end of each level. As the countdown nears a number ending in 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, or 3-3, three, three, grab the flagpole and a red item house will appear on your world map. If you beat the level with a 4-4, four, 5-5, four, five, five, or 6-6 six, six left on the clock, a green 1-up house appears. And with a 7-7, seven, 8-8, seven, eight, eight, or 9-9, nine, nine, and a mega mushroom house appears for you to plunder. Here I go. If you want any of the other items in the game, 
into one of those red mushroom houses that you just unlocked. There are four items available and they always rotate through in the same order. Mushroom, fire flower, blue shell, and mini mushroom. The secret is pausing the game two items before the item you want. So if you want a mini mushroom, pause the game when the flower comes up. While at the pause menu, double tap A and you'll get the mini mushroom. It's easy when you know how. Great, now what do you do with all this crap? Stay tuned for all the secret areas you can unlock with your ill-gotten treasures. Pretty neat, huh? Well, stick around. Later on, I'll show you how to use those tricks to open hidden worlds and warps. But right now, I'm feeling feisty. I'm in the mood for a little fight night. In fight night round three, you'll be bombarded with an array of advertisements. But none quite as overt as Burger King's. Solid shot finds its home. Yes, to unlock the king himself as your trainer, beat any boxer in a Burger King sponsored event on career mode. That was a great night of fighting. Victory. Next time you select your trainer, go past the $50,000 trainer and he'll be available. Is it just me or does it seem like a bad idea for a guy with a giant head to get into boxing? Stick around. We've got tips and tricks for Tomb Raider Legends, plus more Oblivion Cracks when Sheet returns after this. Am I supposed to be impressed? You're in G4's video game mashup. Now, Sheet. Do you know what separates the men from the boys? I do. New RGX body spray from Right Guard. Crisp, clean scents that don't overpower. Are you ready to step up? In the world of professional sports, there are champions. You all pass me a biscuit. And then there are these guys. Some chicken. On March 30th, two men skating together. Mind bottling, isn't it? Did you just say mind bottling? Yeah, mind bottling. You know, when things are so crazy, it gets your thoughts all trapped like in a bottle. Will Ferrell. Let's do this. <laughs> One more. I'm really close. Blades of Glory. Rated PG-13. There are times you gotta ask yourself, do you think you've got the torque, or do you know you've got the torque? Get Q-Torque Power for Trucks. Heat activated to help more torque reach the road. No leading synthetic oil delivers more torque than Q-Torque Power. What's wrong with you? You're not hungry for six-pack. You're hungry for hot pockets! Hot pockets! What's black and white and cool all over? It's Icy. Plug in your tunes and Icy plays your music through his built-in speaker as he chills to the beat. Each sold separately, batteries and music player not included. Don't act, don't assume, don't presume, don't fake. Just be yourself. You know how to do that? Don't you? New RGX body spray from Right Guard. Crisp, clean scents that don't overpower. Are you ready to step up? Attention all gamers. X Play is now interactive and in prime time. Join Adam and Morgan for game reviews, live on screen chat, and video viewer mail. Weeknights at 8, only on G4. <laughs> level jumping fun on cheat. I've got lots more to show you, including some awesome unlockables for Guitar Hero. But first, what's the difference between you and Lara Croft? Besides how you look in short shorts and a tank top. You know where the goodies are in Tomb Raider Legends. Lara Croft is on the prowl for jewelry in Tomb Raider Legend for the Xbox 360. But it's not what you think. Her mother's magic pendant is the key to restoring Excalibur. Of course. Here's how to find the bobble and scoop up some magic prayer wheels in the game's Nepal level. Maneuver your way up the cliff towards the small tower. Cross the checkpoint at the top, then drop down to the ledge on the opposite side to find a bronze prayer wheel. Next up, use your magnetic grapple to swing on the stalactites across the way. You'll find a silver prayer wheel on your far right. Return to the ice rock, shoot the ice wall, and head on through. A good rule of thumb in this game is if you see a wall of ice, shoot it! You might find 
find a prayer wheel, or you might bust out of your tunnel to the broken airplane wing. Now that's proper gear for getting to the top of the mountain. And stick around inside the old bird for an interactive cutscene. down the cliff, you'll enter a cave. Grapple the bronze prayer wheel to your left, then snag another on the wall. There's a gold prayer wheel in a hidden alcove at the rear. Grab that and scoot. You'll have some company outside the cave. Kill them all and remember what I said about the ice wall. Hey look, a silver prayer wheel. Jump across the floating platforms to find a silver prayer wheel on your left. After reaching the lower floor, make two quick right turns and, yes, shoot the wall. Grab it and head back upstairs. Swinging across the room, you'll find bronze prayer wheels at the end of each balcony. Even if you don't use them all, they'll make great souvenirs for the kids back home. Tried that door? I suppose I'll have to work out how to get them open again. Here's a trick. Balance the scales first. Once you're in, cue the holy music. It's Excalibur. Once you have Excalibur in your grasp, quickly make it across the collapsing floor to complete the level. So, any more sightseeing, Lara? By collecting all these wheels, you'll unlock various outfits for your wardrobe. Hmm, snow outfit? Lara could have used that in this level, don't you think? Lara Croft isn't the only one with big guns. Unlock your maximum firepower in black with these unbeatable codes. Black is all about big guns and even bigger explosions. If you don't want to wait till later to get some of the game's unlockable BFG guns, enter this password as your name when creating a profile. Once entered, press Done. You'll return to the profile name screen to enter a real profile name. When you begin the new game, you'll automatically have one very big frickin' gun. To catch these codes and view clips from other episodes, check us out on the web at g4tv.com slash g. Or you can write to us at cheat at g4tv.com. Hitman is next on the menu. We'll show you how to become the ultimate silent assassin. <laughs> You're in G4's video game mashup. Now, cheat. Rated T for team. We have the location of the missiles. It's on you, Mitchell. Take them out. Enemy helo! Get down! Medic! Get Mitchell! Hit that chopper! I got it! Target acquired! Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. Available now. It's back. Today only from Wirefly.com, you can choose your favorite color of Motorola Razor, free when ordered with a new wireless plan. Wirefly.com is the internet's number one seller of wireless phones and plans. View every available rate plan from every provider in your area. Your free Motorola Razor arrives via free FedEx shipping with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call 1-800-552-9000 or visit Wirefly.com today. Computer crimes, such as identity theft, are on a steady rise. Personal information is being targeted and has become harder to secure. There's a demand for qualified individuals who can manage and secure a technical infrastructure that can help protect our privacy. The Information System Security Program in the ITT Technical Institute School of Information Technology is designed to teach students techniques used to deploy and manage security systems and configure security solutions. This program can help students prepare to confront information security challenges. Are you the type of person who would be interested in this growing field? Find out more about this program and the career opportunities available to its graduates.
ITT Technical Institute School of Information Technology, education for the future. Call 1-800-327-1172 or visit us on the web. You've been a naughty muggle. Do I need to cast a humongo, enormous spell on you? Okay, movies! Since Netflix has made it so easy for people to find the right movies, you're all going out today. Oh. Netflix users can choose from classics and new releases to TV shows and get the details on over 75,000 titles. Even search for children's movies based on age. That's you, Pinocchio. Yep. No late fees ever. So some of you may be out for quite a while. Netflix. Start your free trial. Now, plans from only $4.99. So, 12 o'clock tea time, someone rear ends us. Day shot, right? Except I just switched to Progressive Direct Online. They gave me a couple of competitive prices. I pick Progressive and save 400 bucks a year. And I've been trying to tell these guys I also get their concierge service. So I drop off my car, pick up a rental, and we're gone. So I save 400 bucks and our tea time. Fantastic. Progressive Direct. It's about you. And it's about time. Sign up online and save 50 bucks. Welcome back to Cheat, where you get maximum gaming fun and minimum gaming time. Now, as any assassin will tell you, targeting and stalking your victim means endless hours of lying and wait. Who has time for that? Leap to the head of the class and become a silent assassin with these cheats for Hitman Blood Money. It isn't easy earning the top rank in Hitman Blood Money. And once you do, you better keep your mouth shut about it. As a silent assassin, you can never be seen, heard, or traced. This means no witnesses, no unnecessary casualties, and it even means retrieving your suit when the day's work is done. One of the busiest levels of the game, Murder of Crows, puts you in the middle of Mardi Gras with three targets to take out. Raymond, Angelina, and the big boss, Pariah. That's a few thousand witnesses, even if they are all drunk. But don't stress, here are some killer tips. To begin, you'll want to equip that trusty silver baller to pistol whip the non-mission targets. Start by following the Redbird, who is also carrying the case you need on his way to the street. He will either walk left to a small alley behind the hotel, or right toward a larger alley between the rocker and Latino bars. Keep your eye on him, but also your distance. Once he's in an alley, pistol whip him, steal his costume, and dump the body. Oh, and don't forget the case. Head northwest and you'll find a yellow bird man guarding a door. Pariah is behind that door and up a flight of stairs. Right this way, partner. Them stairs Show the yellow bird your case to get in, then spike the upstairs guard with a sedative. Drag him out of sight, then deal Pariah a lethal injection at his desk. Then grab a walkie-talkie and your case, and off you go. Now, use your map to locate Angelina and follow her into a back alley and give her a fiber wire necklace. Remember to not be seen and find a good place to dispose of the body. Grab your case and Angelina's walkie-talkie to find your final target, Raymond. Raymond will randomly spawn in one of three locations, the rocker bar, Latino bar, or the blues bar. If Raymond is at the rock bar, head on over to the alley next to the bar, climb the crates in the back, and crawl through the window. You might run into a waiter taking out the trash. Pistol whip him good, or he'll tattle on you. Once inside, head down to the dance floor. You'll find a door leading to a bathroom and kitchen area with another door that's locked. Wait for the cook to walk away before picking the lock and run to the third floor. If Raymond is up here, take him out with your remaining poison needle or just use your fiber wire. Don't forget the case on your way out while you're retrieving your suit and head for the exit. But sometimes Raymond spawns in the Latino or Blues bar, in which case you'll need a waiter's disguise. Find him inside either bar and take him out before he shoots the VIP. If you were 100% successful, the headlines will read, Silent Assassin. And now, you're the police's number one hitman. More than anything else about Hitman Blood Money, I like the lesson it teaches you to pick up your clothes when you're done killing people. Go ahead and laugh, but 
tidiness counts for more in life than you know. Whether you become an assassin or an accountant, you don't want to be known as a slob, people. If, on the other hand, you'd rather be a rock star, then these lessons will probably come in a lot handier. Grab your axe and check out these two quick cheats for Guitar Hero. Make sure you enter these codes into the game selection menu. You rock so hard, you don't even need an axe. Enter this code and you'll unlock the Mighty Air Guitar. Nothing rocks like an arena full of monkeys. Enter this cheat to put monkey heads on your audience. Now rock on and hope that they don't fling poo at you. Don't wander off, we've got lots more cheats to show you, including new Super Mario Bros. warps and further tales of oblivion. <laughs> Viewers agree, it's the show for everything you care about. We're gonna bring you the latest news, oddities, and things that make you go. Yeah. Attack of the show, weeknights at 7 and 11 on G4. Now at Pizza Hut, buy a large Cheesy Bites pizza for just $11.99 and get a free LG chocolate phone with a new two-year activation on a Verizon wireless plan of $39.99 or more. A free phone from the pizza that gives you more. Can I hold it? No. Want more? Get America's favorite pizza, Pizza Hut. Just tell me right now, like first impression, would you marry me? There's so many different things about me that I do not like. Let's talk about something fun. How about magic? <laughs> I like peanuts. I like cashews, especially candied. Uh, anything in a trail mix. Tired of bad dates? Maybe it's time to try eHarmony. At eHarmony, we only match you with other singles who have been pre-screened for compatibility with you. So when you get to the first date, you know you have so much in common. Log on today and get your free personality profile. Fantastic. Quality. Wow. Thanks to the latest Bose technology, it is now possible to have, for the first time, the same noise reduction benefits in on-ear headphones as we achieved in the award-winning QuietComfort 2 around-ear headphones. And now you can choose your preferred style, QC2 or the smaller QC3 headphones. Wear them when you fly to experience less noise at the flick of a switch. And create your own private sanctuary. Originally designed for planes, Owners tell us about other uses, less distraction at work, to unwind after a hectic day, or to find your own space. Sound quality is fantastic. Ah, peace. Order QC2s or the smaller QC3 headphones and get the same level of performance. Try them for 30 days risk-free. You'll get free shipping and you can make 12 easy payments. Quiet Comfort Headphones. Hear the difference Bose technology makes. If I told you where I hide my porn, I'd have to find another hiding spot. I don't have any porn. I'm just kidding. I will hide it in a file that says, you know, animal pictures. Or you can create a compartment, you know, like under the toilet. We've got lots more action to show you, including where and how to snag the ultimate cutting weapon in Oblivion, a blade that puts your Ginsu knife to shame. But first, remember when I told you those new Super Mario Brothers goodies would come in handy? Well, I actually meant it. 
Here's how to use those tricks to open up new levels. New Super Mario Brothers packs a ton of secrets and hidden levels into the tiny DS package. And I'm here to help you find them all. Use that mini mushroom trick I showed you earlier and you're ready to unlock World 4. First, beat the Mummy Pokey Boss in World 4 with Mini Mario. Stomp his head twice, then equip your mini mushroom. Now give him one more boot to the head and beat it to the next room. You'll fall through a crack in the floor and you're into World 4. In a rush to save the princess? Use the item trick we talked about earlier to get a blue shell for a quick warp trip straight to Bowser. In the middle of the tower in World 1, right after the checkpoint, jump into the launch pipe to reach the hidden door. You'll land in a room with moving blocks and a star point. Jump up to the top right and slip between the moving blocks. Then use your blue shell to break through and you've unlocked the cannon to World 5. Now, hightail it to the ghost house and find the three block ledge on the left side of the screen. Jump up to find the three hidden blocks and stand on the middle one. Squat down and jump to make the beanstalk grow, but watch out for the punching ghost. Enter the door and ride the platform to the top. Grab the flagpole to unlock the warp cannon and it's Hello Bowser! You're now in World 8. The princess is as good as saved. What's with the punching ghost? What's he all worked up about? I swear I'll never figure that guy out. All I know is I've been working out, so if he wants a piece of this, it's on, baby. But if fisticuffs aren't your style, I have just the weapon for you. It's called Maroon's Razor, and it's the object of your next quest in Oblivion. Here's how to power through in record time. You think your Mach 3 is something? Check out Maroon's Razor. It's a magic dagger that can kill with just one hit. Sure, it's hidden in the deepest cavern of the lost alien city, Varsibalum, but I know a few shortcuts. Next stop, Lake Canalus. Pack light when you visit the ruins. About a third of the enemies you encounter along the way will be packing magic weapons and armor that you'll want to swipe once you've whipped their hides. I made over 35,000 gold pieces off the crap I didn't keep. Once you enter the Sundercraft village, do not pass go. Go directly to jail. It's on your left as you arrive in the village. Kill the guard and pick the lock to free the assassin inside. He's not the friendliest of company, but he'll buzz off and kill the Dravmiri army who live in the upper caverns of the hidden city. Watch out, thieves. The locals in this burg have high sneak skill, and they carry torches, so it's hard to get the drop on them for the attack bonus. And if you haven't had your shots, steer clear of the Argonian and Khajiit workers. They can infect you with tunnel cough, which lowers your own sneak ability. There's Drawthen's shack. Now where's Drawthen? He moved on to the Aeliad ruins below Sundercraft and magically sealed the doors. There probably isn't much in the fridge, but poke around for the false wall which hides several scrolls of transmutation. Liberate the glowing Bezoars from his commander and forge master and continue deeper into the cavern. Now, place those Bezoars on the pedestals to break Draven's enchantment and enter the hidden city. But watch out for vampires. They're all over these ruins, along with Draven's troops. Am I supposed to be impressed? Just let them fight it out for a while to thin the ranks before you take any hits. Die, Imperio! Die! Continue through Kava Beldemeld and Kava Marpanga until you reach the Nefari Uigan. Draven Draven is fighting a Dogen champion, and you can either wait for one to kill the other or just kill them both. Make sure to loot Drothen's body for some great items that resist physical and magical attacks. Drothen's journal will tell you that you must eat the beating heart of the Dogen champion to grab Mayrun's razor. The journal will also tell you who Drothen has a secret crush on. Little Drothen has a little crush. Now that you've got the infamous razor, which is fabled to kill a man or beast in a single stroke, it's open season on varmints and Daedric worshippers. Okay, so there are more dangerous weapons in the game, but Mayrun's razor definitely gets 10 out of 10 for style. And the daggers you pilfer from dead elves will fetch you some serious coin. The size and immersiveness of this dungeon make it my favorite Oblivion download so far. Look who we've got here! <laughs> That's all the cheat you're getting out of this girl for now. 
Tune in next time for more boss-busting, level-hopping action or visit us on the web at g4tv.com slash cheat and email us at cheat at g4tv.com. As always, I'm Kristen Holt and you've been cheating. Coming up on Cheaters.